Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you joined me today. You can see I have my glue book out again and I thought we would continue with the theme of using a color wheel. So let's get started. I have had requests to do more pages in my glue book. So I thought, let's just find the page where we left off. Let's see here. Where is it? Okay, this one. I did this one in one of my past videos. If you haven't watched the video yet where I used a color wheel for this page, I will link it in my description. So be sure and watch it, okay? And what I decided to do when I don't know what to do in my glue book, but I know I want to do something, I use a color wheel. And for this page, just as a little refresher, I chose three colors. That's called a triadic harmony. And it's three colors spaced equally apart on the color wheel. And I chose the three colors of red, violet, yellow, orange, and blue, green. And that I, excuse me, I can't talk already. <laughs> oh my, here we go again. I wanted to tell you that you probably recognize blue, red, and yellow. That is a triadic harmony too, and that's also your primary colors. So if you don't have a color wheel, just remember blue, red, and yellow, and that would make a beautiful page too. So let's check the color wheel now. So I put the arrow at yellow, orange, and then to form a perfect triangle, at this corner of the triangle is red, violet, and at this corner of the triangle is blue, green. So that's how I came up with those three colors. Let me set this over here for right now. And I thought I would just go ahead and do the same color theme on this opposite page. I already have my pictures cut out. I did cut out a few more just to kind of add to it. So this is the yellow green pile, or excuse me, I'm wrong. <laughs> I saw the green here. It's the yellow orange pile. <laughs> That's that pile. This one is the blue green pile. And then this is the red violet. And I just thought it'd be fun to go ahead and keep the same theme on this page. Let's see, what picture do we want to start with? Let's look through the yellow orange pile. Let's see here, I've got a lot of pretty ones. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, I love that. Of the barn and the farm. And yeah, let's start with that. Why not? Let's just get something down. Let's see, where do we want to put it? Maybe, yeah, maybe right there. Let me grab my glue stick. I'm going to use the G-L-O-O -O glue stick today, and I might change it up. We'll see how it works. I'm just going to glue in the middle like this, and that way we can either overlap or tuck under. So let's just go maybe about right there. Okay, great. We got our first picture down. We'll pick something out in the red violet pile. Let's see here. Okay, now that's pretty. It's pretty big. Let's see here. We can always layer around it though. Hmm. I like the turquoise chairs, those are pretty. Okay, let's see here. See if there's anything else that 
we might want to put in there. Okay, that's in the red violet. That's really pretty. Ooh, wow. I like that. Let's see how it goes with over here. Hmm, let's go with that one. That's pretty. Maybe I won't put it clear over to the edge. And that way we can do some maybe washi tape or something like that. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Let me find something in the turquoise. I call it turquoise or blue-green. Let's see here what we have. I like that little flower right there and we have this huh hmm okay why not not sure why I like that one there but <laughs> let's go for it I think I'm just going to trim around it a little bit Sometimes we just don't know what it's going to look like or where it's going. We just glue and have fun. That's what's important. I like this lamp up here, but I think we need something behind it so it shows up a little more. Let's see, maybe something in the red violet category. Let's see here. Okay, have that. Well, I think we need something maybe to cover that whole space. Let's see here. Let me get those out of the way and let's just take a quick look through here. See if we see something that would look good behind there. Okay, that might work okay. Let's think about that. Hmm, there's actually some violets, <laughs> which are red violet. Hmm, okay, where did my lamp go? <laughs> there it is. Ooh, I like that. I think maybe we'll go with that picture. Where's my scissors? I have things everywhere. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Okay, maybe, well, if we're going to go under, maybe we've cut some of this white off here. Sorry, I might have been a little too close. Hopefully I wasn't out of focus there. Yes, I like that. Let me turn it around. See which way. It's not that big a deal, really. Well, maybe like that. Yes, let's do that. That looks pretty there. And it ties in the red violet down here, too. So let's see here. Let's kind of go like this. Yes, I like that. And then we can put that in there. I like that. And I may, let's see here, put something else right up here, like maybe in the yellow orange. Let me just look here real quick. I found this picture and I think it will go nicely up there and kind of tie things together. So let's put that one up there. I think those are zinnias. Aren't they just beautiful? I love all those colors. I would love to have a 
a flower garden with zinnias and just every kind of flower. Let's see here now. Let's put this up here. I think we'll just tuck it under and maybe about like that. And then we'll do some trimming later. Let's put that up there. And I decided to scoop the lamp over a little bit. That way you can see more of the violets that are actually red violet. Okay, let's put that up there. I didn't get out my wax paper, but we're doing okay without it. So far, so good. So let's put this up here. And to get it halfway straight. Let's see. <laughs> Hopefully my head isn't in the way. Let's see here. What I'll do when I'm all finished with the page, I'll go through the page and glue down all the loose edges. But I like to leave them like this just in case you want to layer something else under it. So, okay, so that looks good. Now, I think maybe we need something down here. And let's see, I want to take a look at the page that we did over here. Let me get the pictures off of there. I do want to tie the two pages together. So I thought if I use some of the same elements like this ties into this yellow orange flowers here, if I can use this somewhere, let's see. Maybe Maybe I should just glue that whole thing in there because we can layer over it if we want to. Huh. Sure, why not? Let's do that. I might glue close to the edge. Let's see here. So it will lay down in the center and then maybe just go in the middle there a little bit. Let's do that. We can always put some washi tape along the edge like I did here too. So let's do that. Okay. All right. So it's looking great so far. Let's see what we can find to go up here. Let's see here. Maybe I have this monarch butterfly and that would tie in to this one has a bit of a i think that's more lavender but that's okay because it's got the yellow orange and i think it would match okay let me fussy cut around this Ooh, now that would be pretty. Let me see if I can find something to go in here, maybe. Let's see. And that would tie in to these two pictures of the same flowers. So that would be nice. Yes. Ooh, let's do that. I, I like that there. Let's see here now. I think I want to glue close to the edge. Uh-oh. I think I need my wax paper. Let me see here. I found it. I want to get over here to this edge so it will stick well. Let me get things out of the way. Let's see if we can put this under here. Now we could put this up here. Let's see. I think I'll just put it. Okay. Oh my, I better go down a little bit. Almost would be cutting off my whole butterfly if I didn't go down. Let's see. I think that's pretty good. We'll be cutting off a little bit. Well, you know what? 
let me see if I can get that off. I want to go down. Let me cut this little piece off so I know where I'm at with that. Let's try that again. I want to get as much as we can of the butterfly on there. Okay, yes. There we go. Oh yeah, I like that. Covered up the silo, but that's okay. I think that looks pretty. That ties those two together. Let's see if we can do something with this picture. I really like this. It says herbs. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this part off. Let's see if I just go all the way to the top and go around this. I don't know. I'll save that. I might be able to use that somewhere else. I save everything. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to cut this off after all. Make it right even with the side of the building. Let's see. We could go up a little bit. I like that there. Let's do that. Yes, I like that. Hmm. Okay, so we have that. Let's see. Now we have some spots here. Let's see. What colors are we missing? And we can also go around this a little bit more, too, if we want to. Let's see. I think maybe we need something in the... Let me look here. Maybe over here, something in the yellow-orange. Let's see. I have this. That's a really pretty picture. I love flowers. So let's see here. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. Okay, well, I like that. Let me see if I like anything any better down there. Let's look here. I know you probably can't see me looking. Ooh, now this is different. Let me get it turned right side. Ooh, now that's pretty. That's kind of a water scene. Hmm, with boats. Huh, I might like that there, just for something a little different besides flowers, even though I do love flowers. Let's try this. It's got the yellow orange, but then it has some darker silhouette items too. So, ooh, I think I like that. This is kind of an optical illusion. It looks rather 3D on there. I was going to pick it off of there. <laughs> oh, I do. I like that. I'm not sure why, but I just think, yes, I like that. Let's put that there. All right. Yes, I like that. That's beautiful. Before I glue them in, I wanted to show you the other pictures I found to complete our page. I did find this. And I thought that would go with the blue-green. It does have a little bit of yellow-orange. So I think I will put that right there. And I just love this picture of this little girl. Can you see her? She is just beautiful. And she I think she has a rake in her hand. And I thought that would go really nicely right there to go along with the farm. And then I found this piece to go here. I thought it just needed something in the blue-green category, maybe a little darker to tie in this page. So I'm going to put that there. And then I think I'm just going to fill in the little spots we have left with washi tape. So let me go ahead and get these glued in. I am going to go ahead and trim around the edges so we can kind of see where we're at and what we're going to do next. 
after I did the trimming along the edges, I stood up and took another look at the page and decided that I would make a few changes and some additions. And I want to do that before I put on my washi tape. So let me show you what I'd like to do. I don't think this color goes quite well enough with the rest of the page. It's just a little off. So I found this flower and I think I'm going to glue that right on there. And you can see here this is sticking up. I almost took it out because I wasn't sure if I liked it there, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go with it and see how it turns out. <laughs> if we don't like it, I'll just put a sticker over it or something. And I did add this little strip along here to go with this. That was just a little piece I had left over. And I thought that kind of tied those two colors together better. So let me glue this on there. Let's do that. Just kind of still, I think I'll go in the middle in case we want to do any more layering. Okay, let me just kind of see how this is going to go on here. I want the butterfly to show. Okay, let's see. Yes, I think that's going to go okay. And then I found this typewriter, this old-fashioned typewriter. And I just love this picture. So I think I want to try to put it down here. Let me tack this down. Oh, let's see here. Let me just kind of put a little bit so it's not sticking up when we're trying to work. <laughs> I think, back to the typewriter, I would like to put it here and make it a little flip up like this. If I could hinge it, and then we could put a scripture verse or some kind of a little picture in there. So I want to try that and see how it's going to work. So let me see here. Let's try that. Let me maybe, I don't know, that's kind of narrow along there. I thought about, well, let's just try it. Maybe I will use some wet glue. Let me try that. Let me get this shook down here, along here. Sorry, I'm shaking today. Do that. Let me see where I want it here. See if I can get it straight. Or fairly straight. I want it to go over a little bit. Does that look straight? <laughs> we'll go for it. Let's see, I don't want to glue it down. Okay, that kind of wrinkled a little bit. That's okay. All right. Okay, let's just let that dry. And then, let's see, what else? Oh, yes. I thought I would like this beautiful little girl to be the focal point on the page. So I did find this frame, and that just came out of, I don't remember which one it came out of, one of these ephemera packs. Could be the frames and tags. And I just think this will look beautiful around there. So let's do that. I might have to fill in just a little bit along here with some washi tape. I saw that there was a, a gap there. And maybe we'll just put a little piece of this in there just in case. Let's just put that right along the edge, like that. That way, if the frame doesn't 
cover the whole space. There won't be a white, little white streak there. <laughs> I got the frame glued on and I think it looks so pretty. I just love it. Now let's put some washi tape on. Let's see here. I think I'm going to put this one up here to kind of tie in the darks on the page. So let's see, how long do we want it? Let me pull this down a little bit so you can see. Let's see here. Ooh, I like that. And let's see, let's, we add a little space right here. And let me find my other washi tape. Let's see here. Let's put some of these gold stars along here and that'll tie in with the gold stars on this page not sure how far I want to go down oh I like that and let's see my glue's falling over maybe something along here I have these hearts that I'm thinking maybe we'll put along here. Let's try that. One thing nice about washi tape, you can usually peel it up without tearing. So let's see here if you don't like it. Put it down. Oh. I like that there. Oh, that looks pretty. I think I'm going to, let me grab them here, look through these faith stickers that I have and see what I can find to put the finishing touches on this page. I'll be right back. So let's go ahead and see what I did here. I found some stickers. I used stickers out of these. And sorry, I'm a little hoarse. I'm not sure why. <laughs> okay, let's see what we're doing here. I found this sticker. It says, let your light shine before others. And I just love that. I think that goes with this lamp and it just goes together. And then let's see what else I, let's go ahead and move down the page. I found this sticker. It says, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. And I love that too. That is true. When you have the Lord with you, you have nothing to fear. Then I put this sticker down here with a little bird. And it says, pray more, worry less. And I love that too. I want to remember that. That's why I put that on this page, to pray more and worry less. And then let's see what else. I had a bunch of these little hearts. So I just put them on the page kind of randomly. And I thought that would go with the hearts here. And then I found this little hello in some of my ephemera and also this little butterfly. And then in here, let me show you, I put a little tab on this. I already had some of these punched out with my tab punch. And so you just flip this up and there's a little surprise in here. It's a scripture verse that says, your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path, Psalm 119, 105. And I just love that. I think it goes with the lamp up here too. And that is one I also want to remember. So it's just a little surprise in there, a little flip up. So I think our page, let's just take a look at it. Oh, I think it just came out beautiful. I love it. And I think it goes real well with 
the opposite page, they both coordinate together using the color wheel with the colors that we chose, which was the red violet, the yellow orange, and the blue green. This was a whole lot of fun. I loved creating these two pages using a color wheel. If you have a chance, please give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here with me today. I love you all. God bless you. And I'll see you soon in my next video.